Hi, my name is Lotfi Mirat. In this video I would like to talk about something I read this morning or actually a few things I read this morning. First I read this very beautiful article written by somebody I know not personally but we met on Facebook and it's a lady in the US and I will put the link to her article in the description and um, I felt I had to make a video because she wrote about having had a very nice evening with her friends and some family members and then at the end of the evening when they left uh, the hotel where they were partying they heard about a shooting that just happened uh, a mile away from there which is about a kilometer and a half and um, yeah that put them back into a different kind of reality and so she wrote what she felt and how she's dealing with this and it really inspired me a lot and it also helped me realize that what I've been going through lately is at least for me personally a big step forward but I could not see it at that moment what was happening uh, so what has been happening is that um, for the past few years I've been finding more inner peace I've let go of a lot of anger and frustration within me regarding injustice in general and then more specifically injustice in the world against people uh, people in power who only want more power more money and for that they have absolutely zero problem sending out thousands of people killing other thousands of people or sometimes even millions and if you look in history, you see that all the wars, with zero exception, all the wars, and every time people went to war, it was for power, for profit, for ego. Uh, even if people went to defend other people, yeah, maybe the people who went in the field did it because they felt they were going to help other people. But the political decisions have always been based on power, power, greed, more power, influence, which is also power, uh, pleasing other countries, which also kind of power, so that you have the right allies. And when there are none of these benefits then generally nothing happens and genocide keeps going on or famine keeps going on and it's really very rare to see big initiatives taken on political levels where there is nothing to gain nothing I mean no money no power even after a tsunami, even after, after hurricanes. Have a close look and you will see there's always some benefits. There's always an agenda. And this can make me get angry. Like when people speak up for themselves or speak up for others immediately there are people who are afraid of these people and they try to shut them down by finding whatever they can to either get them prosecuted for some bullshit or even 30 or 100 year old laws that have never been used or yeah they'll find something and there are also thousands of cases that are documented and if you dig in you see that they don't add up 
and that they're basically executions but they're called gas leaks. We live in a world where mainly in the western countries mm, gas leaks are something from the past. I mean the explosive ones, houses built, blowing up, apartments blowing up because of a gas leak that's really doesn't make sense and this is a way to silence people and I have this from reliable sources and when you do some digging you'll find out that reports disappear or are edited or there is no real research done about the real cause and say, ah, it was an accident, it was a gas leak yeah. <laughs> and I know that this is very common in Holland for example to silence people and yeah so this can make you very angry and of course you have the people who scream conspiracy but the word conspiracy has been used mainly by those in power to have people look the other way and that, that is one way of ridiculizing those who speak the truth so discrediting is something, for example in America it's very strong uh, you want somebody to be silenced or you don't want people to follow somebody try to find a tiny thing that's not even related just to make people discredited and people like ah yeah but uh, he, he cheated on his wife so when he talks about uh, not committing genocide in another country no no but he, he cheated on his wife so you, you shouldn't listen to this guy He's, cannot trust what he's saying even if he's saying that very bad things are happening and shows proof no 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 but he, he did this one thing or he he drove once drunk and hit somebody by accident didn't even kill the person but there was enough to say oh but he's a bad person so you should not listen to him and this is what you see happening everywhere so also when you see when you look in the media when you look online you see a lot of this kind of things how it's always like a bad people, bad people, bad people and it's generally it's negative news what you see oh it's negative, negative, negative and it's not the real negative things that are happening that are published or they're published in such a way that they blame it on some kind of people because they want you to support other the other group of people to go to war to get more profit or to whatever like today we have North Korea, which is the bad guy, and Australia is getting ready uh, for nuclear attack from North Korea. And come on, there are plenty of videos of scientists who came out and said it is impossible for North Korea to build a nuke that can go far away. Why? Because even NASA has tough times getting something from space back to Earth and uh, an intercontinental ballistic missile goes first to space and then has to re-enter the atmosphere and then it can go and detonate where it wants to so that's something North Korea is very far from doing yes North Korea can launch a nuke up high and they can d disrupt the world by detonating nuclear warheads in space they can blast out a lot of satellites, uh, disorient many more, uh, even bring down the International Space Station, not by shooting directly at it, but just have a blast in space and I mean there's nothing to keep the blast from stopping so that they can do but to nuke Australia to reach even the west coast of the US no the only one in danger is South Korea but who gives a fuck America and Russia played the game north against south and yeah it would not be so great for America if South Korea would be flattened on the other hand it could create a lot of jobs in the US which could be nice too and China would make money out of it as well because less competition and this sounds sick right so yeah this is a reality we live in the other reality if you're still watching 
The other reality is that yesterday I was invited with my girlfriend at uh, an event. We had no clue what it was, we just knew we were going to support and to see a friend of us dance tango. Something he did uh, as part of uh, following what he loves to do, letting his passion flow. And we didn't know we were attending the closure of uh, a personal development program which lasted for four months with 60 people involved, one trainer and these people all had or wanted and were encouraged to go out of the comfort zone and do something far 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 out of the comfort zone so from two o'clock in the afternoon till ten o'clock in the evening these people were going on stage and perform something in front of an audience of more than 300 people and it was so beautiful to see all those people getting out of the comfort zone and doing something that they felt deep in here. And that's another reality we live in. The reality that also thanks to social media and all the means of communication, also good stuff is being transmitted. People hear about other people who are doing incredible things. Uh, coaches get to inspire people far away, not just those in the village where they live or even the country where they live. And people are encouraging and supporting each other in growing on a personal level. And this is what we came to do in this life. I strongly believe in reincarnation and I've had visions that were shared by other people as well. They could finish the story with details that I saw in my vision. So good luck to the scientists and the neuroscientists and the neurologists and the psycho whatever I call them the psychos or the psycho therapists analysts whatever good luck explaining that and that happening multiple times um, and I believe that when we incarnate we incarnate with a list of things and tasks things we want to learn and uh, yeah lessons that we have to go through and we have a group of soul friends who come with us and who push our buttons, who give us the trauma we need to experience to learn the lesson, who is supporting us in uh, more gentle ways sometimes, and because in the end it's all help. And it's important that we get in touch with the lesson and there are many 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 ways of getting to know what you came to do you can get with through meditation some people use astrology some people use gene keys human design um, there are many things and there are many ways of starting to anchor what you've learned uh, starting to transform yourself, getting more in touch with yourself, getting to know yourself better. And uh, there are many methods you can use. Um, some people uh, have a lot of benefits from inner alchemy. Uh, I personally myself combine all the things I've just named and many more because I believe there is not one tool that will help you do everything in your life. There are many tools, like there are many teachers, like there are many supporters, like there are many friends.
and yeah, what you're hearing is the dog moving around. She actually, she wants to go out. So after this video, I will go have a walk with her. So in this video, I want you to realize that it's okay to have both the emotions. The emotions of love, the emotions of happiness, when you see beautiful things around you, when beautiful things happen to you, when you're experiencing them, but also the emotions of pain, fear, anger, frustration, they're all part of us. And it's okay to feel them. The energy has to flow. If you want to suppress those emotions, they will come out when you do not expect it. And they will come out much harder. So better let the energy flow and let them just be there when you feel them. And take the time to feel them. And don't come to me with a bullshit. Yeah, but I have to do so many things. Those people who are always busy and have no time for nothing. If you're one of them, stop running. Stop running away from yourself. Stop running towards all the things outside of you. You don't need them. Everything you need is within you. In here. Not here. This is just a computer. Do you let your calculator, the old-fashioned calculator, tell you what to do? Yeah, I know. Some of you let their mobiles tell, tell them what to do. But computers are just executing orders, making calculations based on the past. So if you want to live in the past, good luck, stay here. And those who think they're living in the future or busy with the future is bullshit. You try to visualize something, to imagine something based on what happened in the past. And I love this quote of the Dalai Lama, there are two days a year that do not matter at all. Yesterday and tomorrow. Yesterday has happened is done. Tomorrow is not there yet and we don't know what will happen. And you really don't know what will happen. Even if you say, ah, oh, but I know this will happen, that will happen. No, you have no guarantee. Do I really need to give you examples of the fact that there is really no guarantee at all that something will happen tomorrow? The building you're working can be blown up tonight. And you will not go to work and you do not need to make that presentation tomorrow. The company you're working can go bankrupt tonight or tomorrow morning. There will be no worries for you about your projects. The people you will meet tomorrow may never arrive. Their car, their bus may end up in an accident. You may end up in an accident and end up in the hospital. And there is nothing you can do. Yes, some crazy people are laying in the hospital or still making their presentations or whatever. But okay, these people, they are really even a crazy accident is not enough to wake them up. Fine, the universe will hit them harder. Oh. The earth will still be spinning, there's no guarantee. A huge cataclysm can happen. Something can happen to the sun, the sun may explode into a supernova and the earth will be blasted into dust. And there will be no spinning earth tomorrow. You want to worry about these things happening? Useless. If you are blast to dust, 
there's nothing to worry about. Even if, if I would die tomorrow, why would I be worried about that? It's the people who are still alive who will be crying. I will not be crying. All my issues will be gone. And my soul will be free from this body. I will not need to be upset about people killing other people and stuff. I will not be here in the 3D world anymore. So, what's there to worry? Do I want to die? No, not yet. There's too many things I can do in this lifetime. So, we'll continue doing them. And part of that is to learn to deal more peacefully with the things that I do not like, with the things that hurt. But just allowing the emotions to be there and accept them. And like what I've been doing for quite some years now is zooming out regularly and seeing why things happen. What have I learned from them? What are the benefits from things that happen? I don't know, in at least one or two videos already mentioned this. When my own mother died, when I just had turned 21, the day after my birthday, I was devastated, I was shocked. I mean, nobody had seen it coming. And yet, many years later, I could see that her death set me free because I was raised very protective, very protected. And I, even after I left home, the grip was still there. She was still trying to protect me because that's what parents do. Some parents more than others. And with her death, I got my freedom. So, yeah, I'm grateful for everything she did for me. Even for the way she raised me, because it made me to be who I am today. Which helps me in what I'm doing today, in the work I'm doing, in the videos I'm making, the people I'm coaching, in the friendships I'm having. Everything that happens, happens for a very good reason. We are just not always able to see them. Or sometimes it takes years, decades, sometimes months, sometimes weeks, sometimes days, sometimes hours, sometimes even minutes. So I developed this ability to remind myself of this and to look quite quick like okay this happened this is really something I was not expecting something I really was not in the mood for but okay it happened I cannot change this good what's the good coming from this is there anything good coming from this can I see it now I have a look and then I see things like ah oh 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 gosh, yeah, it was not a nice moment, but actually I see much better opportunities now for what I want. Ah, oh, this is cool. And then, yeah, the pain evaporates and I can start doing what I really want. And just look back at things you really disliked in your life and see where they led you. And you'll understand. Coming back to the emotions. When I feel anger and frustration, I take a moment to let it out. And I visualize what I would like to do and sometimes it's 
taking some weapons and go kill some very bad people people are killing others and like okay if we kill these 20 people then we will save a few thousand or a few million people and then at that moment that feels like oh, it's worth it killing 20 and saving a million if there is a god and you will tell me why did you kill those 20 people to save those 1 million oh that is uh, an interesting calculation. And then I'm really willing to take responsibility. I'm even willing to go to hell if I can save one million people. And then at other moments I zoom out a lot. <clears throat> and I remember that we all incarnated to learn lessons to have experiences as spiritual beings on this earth in these bodies that we have who are our vehicles to help us experience, to feel, to touch, to smell, to taste and then I'm like okay some people chose to reincarnate in a war zone because there are things you will experience there that they feel they need to experience, that they feel they, they have to learn. And we all reincarnate many, many, many times, hundreds, sometimes thousands of times. And we all have been warriors, we all have been monks, we all have been peasants people in power, rich, poor, we all are going through these experiences. So it may sound very strange to you maybe, but people reincarnating in difficult countries, they chose to have that experience as a man or as a woman, both sometimes. I mean, they reincarnate again to experience it as a different gender. And the soul is building up, it's growing stronger, it's growing wiser. And the only thing you can do to make your life easier and to learn your lessons faster and smoothly, no, that's not even a verb, in a smoother way. Um, we're not talking about smoothies here. The only way is to Find your inner peace and accept. If you stop fighting reality, you stop fighting the world, then you'll find inner peace and you'll be able to move on much faster. This doesn't mean you cannot be an activist. It's fine to be an activist. <laughs> but then be aware that you chose at that moment to live the life of an activist meaning you may get beaten up by the police um, or something else and this is part of what you want to experience and by helping others in the traditional way to help others to save them for example or to heal them or something like that you are on one hand experiencing how it is to be the good guy how it is to be the one bringing salvation sometimes in short helping people to feel great And you are helping others to get through their experiences in a way or another and for them also to experience what it is to be helped. It's part of being a social being. Humans are social 
animal race. Some animals are quite unsocial and some other animals are very social. And we are social in a way and very unsocial in another way. Just the way you look at it. Different perspectives give you different images. But uh, yeah. A simple tool is to, because you probably want to know how, is to judge less. I will not tell you to stop judging. I mean, the day you stop judging, you're, you're a Buddha. Or a saint, or maybe Jesus. But try to just judge less. And the less you judge, yourself primarily and then others as well yeah things will become easier and new doors will open for you new opportunities will come new experiences and your life will change will transform dramatically Try it. Try it for a week. One full week. And you have this reminder in your phone telling you every hour. Because you can do a setting and it will keep reminding you. Don't worry, it's not so complicated. You'll find on YouTube how to do it. Put a reminder every hour of your awakened day not to judge. And you start with a short meditation in the morning. If you're very busy, you do a two, three minute meditation where you breathe deeply and you decide not to judge that day. And by deciding not to judge, you will still judge, but probably much less. And also not judge at the end of the day how bad you did. I mean, how many times you judged where you really didn't have to judge. Or maybe the first few days you judge even much more because you so focus on the judging and you judge yourself for judging or you judge yourself for not judging and yeah it's a good thing I didn't judge there oh, yeah, I'm so good yeah well you're still judging so just just be and you don't need to react to so many things and if you enjoy that first week and you feel like mm, I think I start to get the hang of it but I still didn't manage to judge less but now I'm becoming aware add another week add as many as you want and before you know it you will stop thinking about it and you're simply judging much less or sometimes you realize you're judging and they're like mm. do I really want to judge here will this help me no not really Oh, I'm actually throwing away energy, wasting energy. Yeah, that can be called judging as well, but I prefer to use my energy for doing that. That's not judging, that. that's making a choice. And then you invest your energy doing something else. Or you simply send love to yourself or to the people that you felt like judging and like hmm. me or others are doing things because we got hurt because of whatever good reason. So why judge? It is what it is. And you will see that from there, your life will change. So try it. And the second reason I made this video, first one was the article, and the second one was reading um, about the referendum that they held in Catalonia, in Barcelona. Catalonia is the province where Barcelona is. In Spain, if you're not from Europe. And you have 7.5 million people living there. The whole of Spain has 46.5 million. So about 16 point something percent of the people of Spain want to be independent. And 
the Spanish government sent the police in to harm those who went to vote because they said ah but there was no referendum and there will be no referendum and yeah they do not have the right to go and vote and they went in quite aggressively and the fire department created a human chain to protect the voters and the police just went and started beating on them and that was for me like what? how can they do that? And then I shared it on Facebook with a comment Franco never left the country Franco was the dictator Spain was a dictatorship till the 80s and so yeah my first reaction they don't know yet what the democracy is but hey Spain is part of the European Union so what does this mean where's the pressure coming from and then the ball starts rolling so you can get upset about it and many people got upset and I today didn't really get upset I reacted to it but more from like come on guys really want to go this way I mean putting more hate there would not help like I said going and shooting people to prevent other people getting shot aggression and negative energy cannot bring something positive yes what Hitler did the Second World War created United Nations created a unified Europe prevented most wars within Europe we still had the Balkan at Serbia we had we had quite some genocides there but most of Europe has been at peace within itself I mean plenty of European countries have been sending their armies in other countries and committing genocide there but within Europe it was quite peaceful and that was a result of the atrocities that happened during World War II and so people say the United Nations is just created as a tool to manipulate too many things and yes the United Nations are ruled by a few countries and they have the right of veto which is a crazy thing in my opinion but there are also positive things so however you look at things you can see them from the positive and from the negative side there is no darkness without light and there is no light without darkness you can understand this and when I say understanding I don't mean by the mind but deep inside you then I say as a half a joke there's still hope for you meaning you will be able to find inner peace no matter what's happening around you and a beautiful example is Nelson Mandela who was in prison for 29, 30 years, something like that and when he came out he didn't, didn't come out an angry man he came out peacefully and decided on what he wanted to do and he did a lot of good things and he inspired a lot of people by not going into the angry mode so thank you Nelson and thank you to all the people who are doing similar things to all the people who are bringing light or bringing love or bringing peace each of them in their own way and thank you to all the people who are opening and opening up to listening 
to those people and want to change the world and are willing to change themselves first to achieve that. Well, this is the only way for all of us to reach some kind of harmony and more important to reach inner peace and the people who are working on reaching inner peace are also the people who have been inspiring me are the people who have been teaching me the people from whom I learned a lot And I've been thanking people in previous videos for this. And I will keep doing that. Because without those people, I would not be here today. I would not be living the life I'm living today. I would not have that huge amount of inner peace that I didn't have before. Without those people, I would not be helping other people, helping other people to do the same. So by helping me, they have been helping others that they have never met, they will probably never meet, and they have probably never thought about. So by every action, there is a whole chain reaction behind it. It can be a beautiful one, it can be an ugly one. Whatever it is, it is. Try not to judge. I'm focused on the positive, I'm focused on the light. But I cannot ignore the darkness. Also the darkness within me. So I encourage you not to ignore the darkness within you. As well. accept it and decide what you want to focus on and just remember every time you take a decision that you have both inside you that whatever you do it is okay as long as you are aware of what you're doing and why you're doing it it is Monday today 2nd of October I wish you a beautiful week and I wish you to find as much as possible the inner peace that you're looking for consciously or unconsciously but while watching this video I'm sure you're consciously looking for the inner peace well you're gonna find it within you peace is within you not outside you it starts within you so I wish you all the best and this has been a long video, others will be shorter, don't worry. I love you and I'm looking forward to interacting with you. Have a beautiful day.